Yo, what's going on guys? Back in uh, Easy Kitchen and uh, putting up a little uh, chicken breast right there as you can see. Looking absolutely anabolic. And I need to uh, get one of these uh, meal prep spots. Video guys, I actually had a very important thing to go over and that I wanted to discuss. And that would be how to use a lot, how to utilize your rest days a little bit more effectively. So what do I mean by that? Right? So maybe you're the casual lifter. This video is not really going to apply to you. If you have a serious powerlifter, bodybuilder, crossfitter, even though you guys have been banned from the lifting community, but you know, any, any or just even a serious lifter that takes your training or is trying to take your training to the next level, I'm going to explain. And in another video, I'm actually just going to like show. So this will be part one. Part one, how to utilize rest days more effectively. So, oh, there goes my background. Um, anyways, guys, uh, how to use, utilize your rest days a little bit more effectively. Now, this advice, like I said, casual lifter, mm, four, four days a week, three days a week, five times a week. Uh, 80% on your diet, uh, not even 80%, 50% on your diet, and 30% on your diet, don't follow a diet, fat, this advice is not going to really help you, um, but if you are serious, this advice is going to be fucking great, this might be just what you need, now this is for both on season or off season, but especially if you're getting ready for a competition, powerlifting, bodybuilding, doesn't matter. You can use this advice because you've been hopefully training long enough where you understand your body a little bit better than when you first started lifting. So, first thing, if you're already like 80, 90% on your nutrition, being 100%, especially when you're getting ready for competition, it's going to be essential on rest days especially. Um, <clears throat> normally, you're, you're going to be 100% on training days because you don't want to feel like shit when you train. Well, you need to be 100% on uh, rest days too. Because uh, you are going to train, but you're not going to do anything serious. You're going to do a lot of mobility work. Not even a lot. I don't even want to say that because like, you're not going to be doing a lot of mobility work. But you are going to be doing, you're going to be going through ranges of motion. You're going to be stretching. And you're going to be working out some kinks in your training. So let's say, what do I mean by that? So let's say, ah, hips are feeling tight today. Hips, hips are tight. You're going to do some hip strengthening exercises, hip stretches, and just kind of work your hips overall. Um, that's just an example, right? So for me, that is one thing that I work on is strengthening my hips, mobility work, going through ranges of motions. And like I said, in, in part two, I will show a little bit more of that. But um, basically, to recap the video, two things is A, be 100% on your diet. Two, you're going to be doing stretching. But you need to do enough where you're not going to fatigue yourself for tomorrow's training. And that's going to vary, you know. Um, and you just kind of got to figure that out yourself. I would say don't do more than 30, 40 minutes of any kind of like stretching, exercising, mobility work. And I'd even say that's kind of a lot. I do like 15 minutes light, super light cardio. Like literally kind of just walking on an incline. And 15 minutes mobility work, 15 minutes strengthening or not in this order obviously, but just group it in three different things. So those three things are going to help you. And then 100% on your diet, that's number two. Number three, and I used to be like terrible at this. I'm not saying hydrating, even on rest days, because it's like, well, I'm not training, so hydration doesn't matter. It does matter. You're going to be using your muscles all day, regardless. I hope you're not sitting around all day. Um, oh, I think my chicken's overcooking. Oh, shit. That's some grilled chicken up. I ain't never seen some. Or actually what I'm doing. Um, 
well, 100% on your nutrition, so. And the water. Honestly, though, you could get away without needing to do the mobility, stretching, and some super light cardio. Um, and be 100% on nutrition, but I don't know. I just, you gotta gauge it. You gotta, like I said, hopefully by now you've known your own levels of recovery, how long it takes you to recover, uh, all these sorts of things. So, and then getting to bed on time is also important. Uh, rest days are great for that because you're hopefully not going, staying at the gym for more than two hours. So, we're not going to the gym at all. So, yeah, anyway, guys, that's kind of just some how you maximize, utilize your rest days. But, you know, this is just for my own experience. Don't take this advice, honestly. Probably find somebody else's advice. So, anecdotal, not medical. So, alrighty, guys. I'll do a part two sometime in the future, maybe two years from now. So, alright. I'll see you all in the next video.